This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. How to start your NEMT business in the state of Georgia. Now, if that's you and you are looking to get your business started in the state of Georgia, watch this video so we can give you the fundamental steps on how to get started. What up, though, family? Welcome back to another episode of NEMT Coaches Corner. We are uh, doing a video today and we're going to share with you the fundamental steps, step-by-step -step guide on how to start your business in the state of Georgia. What up, though, Atlanta? What up, though, College Park, Savannah, uh, Marietta, all the surrounding uh, cities and counties out there. Uh, let us get to the video on how to start your transportation business in the state of Georgia. So uh, when you're first beginning and getting started in this particular industry, we all know uh, one of the things that you need to do when you're starting your, your business, any business that goes for it, you want to uh, survey and do some market research. Okay, so market research can go anywhere from, let me pull up my notes. So one of the things that you want to do is uh, what, what type of clients do you want to service? You know, in your particular area, there may be some type of demographic that's needing this particular service. For instance, uh, dialysis patients, people that need to go to and from um, picking up and dropping off into a uh, you know getting a facility center, um, and they go twice a week. Okay, so uh, those are one of the clients that you can use. Student transportation, senior assisted living. Um, so do your research on what's needed in your particular area, so then you can you know create a business around that particular service that's needed. Market research also entails um, what type of vehicle are you going to start with? Is there a need for wheelchair accessible vehicles or is it just ambulatory? You know, ambulatory is just a regular vehicle that you're, you're driving in on your everyday uh, to and from work and going to the grocery store. It can be a Ford Taurus, it can be a, a Honda Accord, Toyota Camry. That's, a, that's, that's what we call ambulatory. You also want to know what, what type of certifications, licensing. Do you need to have your PASS certification? Passenger Assistance Safety Sensitivity uh, Certification, CPR Certification. Um, and there is, are there any application fees? Um, anything that can help you get an advantage on how to start in your particular state, because all states are not the same. We are not created equal. I'm in Michigan. You are in Georgia. Somebody else is in LA or California. You know, somebody else may be in Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Massachusetts. So everybody has different, what I would say, everybody has different uh, requirements, okay? So you wanna make sure you know what the requirements are and what are the you know, type of regulations that may prevent you or will you know, hinder you from getting started in your state. So starting with you, Georgia, though, um, just do your market research when you're first beginning. Always, 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 you know, talk about make sure you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, so you can go into you want to know what you, well, how much would your start certain start, startup cost be? You know, saying we have vehicle insurance. Do you need commercial auto insurance? Do you need general liability insurance? Do you have to have a bond? You know, what I'm saying some not I'm say some states in, in the rare occasions you may have to have bond insurance, but lucky for you, Georgia, you don't have to have bond insurance. You know what I'm talking about. Next thing we want to do, we want to get our employer identification number, EIN number for short. You know, everybody know about EIN number, but the employer identification number, you can get that from IRS.gov uh, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. You know what I'm talking about? So create up, you know, create your creative name and go ahead and get that business uh, EIN number. Basically, yeah, your business social security number. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen, you know what I'm saying, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So head over to irs.gov and get your um, EIN number. Next thing we want to do, okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a business entity. Okay, you may not know what a business entity is. And if you if you do, okay, we're just going to go over it right now. Business entity can be a sole proprietorship, an LLC, a corporation, an estate, a trust, and a partnership. So choose the best structure for your business. In most cases, people are going to go with the LLC uh route and if that's the case then go ahead and set, set you up a LLC and you can go to in your state instead of Georgia it's www.ecorp.sos.ga.gov I know that's a mouthful you know what I'm talking about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that baby on the screen real quick so you can see exactly what I'm talking about but again that 
particular website is www.ecorp, E-C-O-R-P.sos.ga.gov to get your LLC. It starts off at fifty dollars, goes all the way up to you know uh, wherever to pay is. You just check out on the, on your website. Next thing you're going to want to do in the state of Georgia, you know, I'm talking about Atlanta, what up, though? Um, like I said, College Park, all the you know, surrounding areas. You want to get you some vehicle insurance. Now, in your, your state, you have to have commercial auto insurance, general liability insurance in order to operate on the road. Please do not get out here and get on the road and do not have the, the proper um, proper uh, uh, documentation. Meaning you need your, you're going to need your uh, vehicle insurance. You don't want to get your business, you know what I'm saying, shut down. So I have a few companies that you can check into as far as the vehicle insurance goes. First would be uh, Right Risk Consultants, I believe. And that website is www.twrc, as in Charlie, I-N-S, dot com. They have commercial auto insurance and I believe general liability insurance. You can check them out. Next one would be www.metrorickmanagement. I'm going to throw this boys on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Metro Risk Management. Uh, dot com. Next after that would be nmtinsurance.com, pathwayinsurance.net, and then www.insurenemt.com. Those are um, insurance companies that you can check out because I know you want to have more than one to, you know what I'm saying, compare to get the best available, you know, rates for you and your, your company. So go to those bigger companies and see exactly what they can offer and how, you know what I'm saying, you can get you some uh, EMT insurance for your vehicle or private transportation insurance. Next, we want to go on to uh, CPR certification. When you're hiring drivers and you as a driver, if you are going to be transporting people, one key component or important fundamental in getting started is make sure you have um, uh, the minimum uh, medical training that that's possible, which is the CPR certification. Okay, so what you can do is go to Red Cross. That's www.redcross.org. You can sign up either online or in person. Me personally, I would tell anybody that's going to be doing this type this type of work or uh, I have this type of business, go in person so you can work on the. Uh, I don't want to call them dummies, but you know what you do. What I'm talking about. You can work on the physical dials, and you can be able to do is administer the CPR training, uh, mouth to mouth resuscitation, the hemorrhage renewal, and, and things of that nature. So if you don't, you also can do it online. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe that's cheating because it's not going to help you uh, when it comes down to it. Because all you're doing is answering questions online. So go in person. It ranges from thirty-seven dollars all the way up to like hundred and ten dollars. Again, that website is www.redcross.org uh, and again you can do it online or in person okay next thing we want to do is we're going to fill out the provider enrollment application this is to let the state of Georgia know that you are going to be uh, operating uh, transporting people in the state of Georgia so this uh, basically alerts them okay what type of service that you provide are you going to be ambulatory or are you going to be wheelchair do you have a gurney or are you going to be stretcher so this is where you get your give your information to the state of Georgia to let them know what type of company that you're going to be operating you know how, how many drivers or people in your company is going to be on the road transporting people so this is basically what this form is for so you can go over to www.mm is.georgia.gov again that's www.mmis.georgia.gov and this is where you're going to fill out the provider enrollment form so I want to give you some key components to uh, get to the place that you need to be because I get this question sometimes and, and people can't navigate through the websites because these websites do be kind of you know I'm talking about they be kind of old school and they don't have things easy accessible uh, for people to find out. So what you want to do is you want to drop down to the provider tab, right? Go to the provider tab. You're going to pull, drop down the box where it says enrollment wizard. Once you hit enrollment wizard, you're going to hit the provider uh, enrollment application. Next, you're going to click uh, new application. And then you're going to proceed to, and they're going to ask you some questions like, uh, I think it's a type of business that you have, or provider type. You can click facility and then 
put provider type ambulatory. So that's how you fill out the application. Then you can go through the rest of the questions uh, from there. So again, we're gonna go pull down the provider tab. It's gonna be a drop down box. Then you're gonna go to the enrollment wizard. From the enrollment wizard, you're gonna prov uh, click the uh, provider enrollment application. Then it's gonna be a new application that you're gonna select. Then from there, you're gonna uh, check facility. Then provider type is gonna be administrator. Okay. All right. After that, we're gonna uh, eventually we're gonna pay our application fee. I couldn't figure out for the life of me where was the application fee for, uh, for the state of Georgia. I believe it is six hundred twenty-five dollars, and you're gonna mail that particular payment into the state of Georgia. Uh, if I find it, I'll throw it on the video. If not, I'll update the video at another later time and share with you where exactly uh, that tab is. But they're gonna pay your application fee. Next, we want to uh, we want to get our national provider identifier number. If you watch any of my videos, you want to get your MPI number from CMS.gov. Okay, this is basically letting uh, brokers and Medicaid know that you are a transportation provider in the state of Georgia. So, what you want to do is when you're filling out the um, MPI application, make sure I'm going I'm I'm, I'm to emphasize this: make sure that you fill out all the information pertaining to uh, an organization. Not as an individual, you are not a doctor, you're not a nurse, you are a nurse practitioner, you are not anybody uh, providing a service as an individual. You are a company, which is an organization, and you're providing transportation services. So when filling out the application, I have a video on my YouTube channel, how to fill out that particular application, so you can go check that out if you have troubles. But anything pertaining to you, you wanna say as an organization when you're filling out this, uh, Applica MPI application. Next, uh, we were talking about in the beginning, passenger assistant safety sensitivity certification. This is where you want to uh, get certified. Okay, so most brokers and or Medicaid are gonna ask you for your past certification. So don't go uh, without having this particular certification because it's imperative, especially when you're going to, if you, especially if you wanna go to, let's say medical facilities and start uh, implementing your uh, uh, private pay. So, uh, the I'm going to put it on the screen, but passenger assistance safety sensitivity training uh, allows you to, uh, or they teach you how to wheelchair wheel, properly secure a uh, passenger in the vehicle and how to uh, pa secure a wheelchair without a passenger in, in the vehicle. Also, they do defensive training, um, you know, sexual um, assault or I uh, guess indiscretions. Um, so you want to make sure that you are uh, pass, you know, pass certified. Starts off at fifty dollars for the online, basic online training, and then it goes to seven hundred fifty dollars for the virtual training, which I recommend. But if you don't have it, just start off with the uh, fifty dollar basic training. But eventually, you want to get to, you want to be um, fully certified, and they have other services that they provide as certifications as well. So you can just go through the website, and that website is www ctaa.org www.ctaa.org and after that we want to partner with brokers now this is where you know uh, people uh, have a uh, hang up so how am I going to my clients so what I always recommend is you start off with a broker right because brokers are going to be the ones that help you facilitate getting clients so when you partner with brokers they're going to work directly with Medicaid and they'll get you um, clients when you first starting off so the brokers that are within your state are Verita, which is um, www.verida.com, verita.com. And they also have a phone number if you wanna contact them directly, 866-388-9844. Again, that number is 866-388-9844. And the other broker that you can uh, partner with is Care. This is basically a, a, a nationwide broker and they help, uh, you know, many companies out there. But don't be alarmed because Model Care is pretty, pretty busy. So I would start this ASAP Rocky if I was you, as far as, you know, partner with brokers or you ever fill out the application. And their particular website is www.modivcare.com. M-O-D-I-V-C-A-R-E.com. And you can reach them directly at 888-224-7981 okay 
And so that's partnering with brokers. Again, these are the ones that's going to um, directly help you facilitate getting you know clients when you're first starting off. And eventually what you want to do is you want to uh, transition to getting your own private pay clients. Okay, so just because you want to build your own business. You don't want to solely depend on brokers. Even though brokers, I know a couple, couple of companies out here that's really killing it with brokers. So uh, you can uh, you can work solely with brokers, but I would say you start building up your private pay clients. And we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Next, we want to build our website. You have to have a digital presence online. So if you want to have a digital presence online, you have to get your website. Uh, it can be a basic website or you can be more in debt where they can uh, book uh, your rides on the website uh, instantly. Okay, so what's going to need to be on your website is how to contact you, what are your rates, what type of services you are, and what type of vehicles that you have. Basic information. That could be just for a basic uh, website. You can go to Whole Route, www.whole.route.com. I'm trying to throw all this information on the screen so you guys can see. WholeRoute.com, GoDaddy.com, WordPress.com, and or Squarespace. So just know that having a website when you're dealing with uh, brokers and I would say Medicaid, they're gonna make they want to make sure that you know what I'm saying you are a profitable company. And this is basically how they can figure out you know what I'm saying who you are and what you, what you do by your website. So get your website. You know what I'm saying if, even if you ain't got the amount of money that you want to have first starting off as far as getting a fancy website but still have your presence online okay next we're going to do with marketing material you're going to need marketing materials because especially when you're going into these different medical facilities you want to know people you want people to know who you are what what's your business and you know what i'm saying get get to know these people on a day-to-day -day basis a weekly basis or a monthly basis okay so what you can do is get brochures brochures are basically those three Three, uh, I guess a three bifold, um, you know, piece of paper, a brochure that explains what you do, type of services that you offer, how to contact you, type of vehicles that you have, and uh, maybe pricing. Next, you want to have uh, business cards. Business cards, you know, it's, even though we we're moving on, you know, what I'm saying because everything is digital. I always give you some business cards because they still go a long way. Just, 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 just think about the fact that what if you're doing um, airport transportation? You want to maybe make sure that you can be able to leave your passengers or anybody uh, with your information. Or if you're going into a student transportation, okay, you're going to these different schools, uh, districts. You want to have business cards to let people know that you also do private transportation. Meaning if those particular kids are you know coming home from maybe a sporting event or something like that, and a parent is away. You can be that person to provide that, uh, you know, private transportation. So you can get, you can either uh, create your own or go to Vistaprint and or other, you know, stationary companies that produce these marketing materials. Next, we want to talk about dispatch software. Okay, you might not need this when you're first starting off, but Care, I believe, still requires you to have uh, uh, dispatching software. So either they have the one that's implemented in their uh, their system, or you can go on your own and get, you know. Uh, a dispatching software and it can start anywhere from like fifty dollars all the way on up you know to maybe two or three hundred dollars depending on how many trips you're taking so there's a few companies that i recommend bambi is a new one that's out right now that I just heard about you know from um you know different nmt uh companies that's been recommended i haven't we did enough research to let, let you know what bambi route jenny trip spark zen path nemt uh dispatch software those are a few companies that i recommend that you just check out you know what i'm saying on the whim so you can see if that you know helps you in your business next we're when we were just talking about it you know previously i was talking about private pay private pay is going to be important reason why private pay is going to be so important is you want to be building a legacy for you your family your family your own tra private transportation business and you don't want to solely depend on um uh, you know uh, i guess brokers Right, because when you're doing private pay, you also can have your own. You can go, you can dictate your own uh, rates. Okay, so you're setting your own rates, your base rate, uh, mileage, you know, what I'm saying or total trips. Uh, you want to ha you have total control over that. So this is why it's important. So you're building your own clients. Um, you're going into these senior assistant living facilities. You're going into uh, these school districts. You will go into these medical facilities, uh, dialysis clinics. Um, 
medical facilities, airports, you know what I'm saying? You want to, you want to, what we say, you want to get your boots on the ground and let people know what you do, what you offer, and how, you know, basically how much you charge uh, as a private transportation company. So get out here and do your own private pay. Um, if you need help, we have uh, resources on our website at thehomeschooldad.com so that can help you, you know, better facilitate that. Next, you know, I get this question uh, quite a lot is, uh, hold on, let me, uh, networking. You want to do networking. Uh, you want to build your network up where you're talking to people, whether you're going to conferences, Facebook groups, uh, social events, um, meetups like meetup.com. There's many ways that you can uh, network and you want to get to know, you know what I'm saying, uh, people. And you just don't want to do transportation events. I would go to um, um, events such as uh, any type of business events, funding events. You want to go to um, maybe yoga or you want to go to or healthcare uh, uh, events you know anything outside of your industry you want to always you know what I'm saying just peek your head in there and start networking with those people always those people as well you know what I'm saying the network with uh, attorneys um, doctors um, entertainers you know what I'm saying you just want to entertain based off you know what type of clients you want to use but just get out here and network Last but not least, we're going to talk about rates. Uh, people always want to say, oh, how, how do I determine what I want to charge? Well, it's basically all up to you, uh, where you think your value is, what type of service that you're providing. Um, but I'm going to give you an example. Um, a total trip, we'll say about 24 miles uh, to and from, we'll say, what, what would that trip would cost? Um, depending on the type of service they have, they need a wheelchair, we'll say about $275, okay? We'll say $275 just to uh, give you a general idea um, for that trip. You say, the first five miles is free. Anything after the five miles, we're going to charge $3 per mile. So you also can go have a base rate and a mileage. You know what I'm saying? It might be kind of confusing, but you know what I'm saying? You can do a total trip or you can do a base rate and mileage. So if you're doing a base rate of mileage, we can, we can say, uh, we can start off with a base rate of maybe about uh, $55 to $75 plus $3 per mileage, anything at the five miles. So that's a way that you can come up with a formula, but you know what I'm saying? There's all different type of ways, you know what I'm saying? You, you can equate uh, your formula for coming up with your rates. But I just want to give you a general idea on how to come up with a formula or come up with a strategy on what to charge for your customers. Cause you don't want to be too high and you don't want to be, you don't want to undercharge yourself. Because this, as as you know, this is a business, and you want to be paid. You want to be paid significantly. You can do. You can make. I'm going to say you can make if you're hustling out here. People are also ask, how much can I make with a via, uh, one vehicle? You can make seven seventy five hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars a a month, depending on how you're grinding and what type of uh, clients that you have. I'm saying you can have high ticket clients. You can have low ticket clients. You can have mid ticket clients. You can also be working with brokers and doing private pay at the same time. So the amount of money that you can make is significant depending on how you're grinding and you know what I'm saying, how you out here, you know, uh, picking and choosing the type of clients that you want to service. So uh, that's, that comes to the end of the video. If you like this video, most definitely check out the rest of the videos that we have about tra private transportation. You know, uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. As always, love and light. Peace to you always. Salute.